hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching today thank you guys if you are new here guys please do not forget to subscribe subscribe and support the channel thank you so much in today's video i'm going to be talking about studying in luxembourg for free yes you heard me right i said i will be talking about studies in luxembourg for free guys there is a way or there are ways you can as well study in Luxembourg for free as uh, an international student and first of all before I continue with the video you should understand that Luxembourg is one of those countries uh, dream countries a lot of international students are looking forward to study in this is the reason because Luxembourg also has one of the richest economic on earth um, economy Luxembourg is the richest country, if not in the European Union, but one of the richest in the world. It has also one of the richest capitals in the world, Luxembourg City. All right. Luxembourg is also a country where the population is not that much. About uh, 600,000 inhabitants or, or plus are living in Luxembourg. And most times, not all the people in Luxembourg are living in Luxembourg. Some come from nearby Belgium, Germany and France. You also need to know that the languages in Luxembourg include the Luxembourgish, German, and French. Okay, though there are a lot of people who speak English as well, but you should know that in Luxembourg there is no one language. However, I would also like to continue with the video from here because there has been a lot of questions, people asking me if they can actually study in Luxembourg without paying tuition fee and i went further to do some research and i realized that is very possible we all know that um, international students we should try to do research in order to understand certain things there are a lot of scholarships out there that we can apply for and study for free but just that most of us we do not know how to go about it and uh, luxembourg is one of those countries that also offers scholarship to international students. What you need to do is uh, just to locate the right scholarship and apply for for it. And make sure when you are applying for a scholarship, your motivation letter should be well organized. Your motivation letter, because that is a letter that is going to grant you access to getting the scholarship. Now. To so apply for a scholarship in Luxembourg, what you need to do, first of all, is to design a terrific application. All right, You need to get preparations on the way, provide uh, an eye-catching application. First of all, you need to know that preparing and getting ready for the admissions or for the, to submit your application is one of those things you need. You need to get all your documents intact. All right, get all your scores, your English language proficiencies intact so that when time for submission reach, you just submit the application. And you should also know that it's just as a matter of score because it's going to take time for you to prepare all these things. So prepare your application on time. Know that you will need language scores. It's very important. You will need your application. You will need recommendations as well. Okay, because uh, the scholarship is going to be assessed in four different dimensions. You will be assessed based on academic qualifications. You will be assessed based on recommendation and motivation letter as well as your CV. Okay, it is very, very important. Take note of that. Now, when you have finished with the, the application, you need to start um, submitting. All right, like I said, preparation is the key to do anything successfully so you need to leave laziness apart prepare gather all necessary information and start applying now when you have gathered all the information you don't just go applying first of all you need now to check which international scholarship or program is available in luxembourg remember in luxembourg there are a lot of uh, not many universities compared to so many other european union countries or so many other countries in Europe but you need to check which uh, scholarship is available and how much is the scholarship because if you want to really study in Luxembourg it's not going to take you 
an easy task all right luxembourg is highly expensive and for you to live in luxembourg you need to have money to survive you need to locate out locate the right scholarship and prepare for it go to the luxembourg institution websites what you can do is check on schools okay to see if they have scholarship and if the scholarships are fully funded when you check that you can also locate government grants or government websites uh, to know if they have scholarships for you all right when you have checked all the scholarship program what you need to do now is to read about the scholarship read about the scholarships in luxembourg to know because most scholarships in luxembourg some will last only after one year some will last after two years so this is going to guide you if you read about the scholarship you will know what the scholarship wants what are the documents what are the admission dates what are the admissions final date that's the final date to submit your application for the scholarship all this so if you read about the scholarship of course you are going to know the program requirements the program duration and everything all right so after finish after you finish with the program you will have known what is needed of you in case you you receive a grant um, let's say if you had located uh, if you locate an organization in Luxembourg and uh, the organization offers you the grant or the scholarship you should also learn um, how to look for cheaper schools because there are some schools let me say there are some organizations in Luxembourg that you can apply for scholarships to do research under them all right and they will grant you the grant or they will give you the grant what you need to do is to locate the university now a cheap university or an affordable university okay but there are some other schools or organizations that will ask you to apply for a school first then you apply for a scholarship all right so it works that way sometimes but in any way it is if you get the grant or the sponsorship first you should book for a university but if you get the the scholarship to do research in an organization that is still advantageous for you all right all you need to do is to locate a cheap university in case you are applying for the university before the grant locate a cheap a cheaper university apply for it then apply for the grant because when you get the grant it is now advantageous for you since you applied for a cheaper university you would not spend much money okay but if you apply for a university that is going to cost you uh, maybe sixteen thousand dollars or sixteen thousand euros a year it is going to be disadvantageous for you you know in luxembourg the tuition fee range from school to school but the least you can spend um is like four thousand euros plus all right to like eighteen thousand euros there are some schools especially business schools that are very expensive in case you are doing um research under such organizations or let me say an institution that is very expensive like that like the business schools in luxembourg is going to cost you a lot a lot of money so always locate cheaper options all right but go for the bigger scholarships i hope you understand now when you find such institution or when you are ready you apply for the school if you haven't applied for the scholarship before looking for the school you can apply for the school immediately you have gotten the information then you apply for the scholarship then when you get the grants or the admissions make sure you you, you lower your living expensive okay you can lower your living expensive while in luxembourg look for cheaper options to leave so that you can save more money again another way for you to get more money is to get a job for the duration of stay in luxembourg because in as much as you are on scholarship okay and you are also paying tuition fee you will also spend more money all right so you can get a job in case uh you get a scholarship if you are allowed to, to to work while on scholarship you can get a job while you work okay because most times scholarships will not let me say the type of visa you'll be given sometimes it will not permit you to work as a as a scholarship uh award or somebody or a student who has uh, been given a scholarship i hope you understand my english is not that perfect so that is what you should know but sometimes some other scholarships will permit you go on internships that will earn you money okay but it's still advantage you but 
if you are not given the opportunity to to work while on a scholarship make sure you get cheaper living expensive do not spend more so that you can save up a little bit all right so i hope you understand then you should also understand that there is also another opportunity to study in luxembourg if you are not on scholarship for example you can locate cheaper universities like the university of luxembourg that the university of luxembourg is a cheap school very cheap i think with two hundred dollars four hundred dollars you are good to go every academic year at the university of luxembourg but remember in this case you are going to to show financial proof that you can take care of yourself so that is another way for you but your entire duration or let me say the duration of your studies will be free all right you will not be paying tuition fee i think the four two hundred or four hundred dollars you will be spending at the university of luxembourg will be only for registration or some departmental stuff or school stuff but some other universities will be highly expensive there are a lot of universities there you have linux universities you have the the business schools in luxembourg there are a lot of them all right but the cheapest among them is the university of luxembourg i know that admissions will start sometime um, around january ending early february of 2022 so you can also locate the university of luxembourg website to know if they actually have some good scholarships for you to apply but know that studying in luxembourg for free or on a scholarship is also highly possible all right locate organizations good companies and see because luxembourg is a country that promotes education all right they are very rich and they are very rich in business activities all right they have a lot of companies a lot of banks they are doing into business so if you locate some of these schools or some of these organizations that can allow you or can give you a scholarship or can allow you study under them for free it is going to help you especially in luxembourg all right so i believe uh, the information is not that enough that i'm trying to pass out but i hope this one may help somebody i know it's going to help someone out there guys please if you find it helpful please do not forget to subscribe subscribe and support the movement all right also not only luxembourg you can as well check other countries in the european union or in europe to apply for scholarships all right there are a lot of scholarships on the internet it's just for you to create time and see which one you can go for and also if you don't have um, the means to go about them you can always ask people to direct you or to give you links of scholarship if you can do the application yourself all right that way is going to help you boost your 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 scholarship search and also the ability especially if you don't have money to study for free it's going to help you a lot all right because there are a lot of internationals especially from african countries that don't have money i know a lot of people that have won scholarships abroad that they didn't even have even money to apply for the visa so if you are one of them or if you happen to win a scholarship it is going to help you a lot in your future